my name is uh, Lucas, and I'm the creator behind the LARP Sigrid's Daughter. Uh, translated to Sigrid's Daughter, which is funny because my mother's name is Sigrid, so. <laughs> Um, I put it up once before with uh, Rosalind Jötberg, Eva Way, and Elvira Fallstalen, and we're uh, right now working on the second run. Um, I'm going to talk to you a bit about why I decided to write this LARP, and start with a disclaimer that I'm going to talk about men and women all the deaf time. Uh, I know that there's other genders. I know that un other genders is affected by gender roles, but Sigurd's daughter is about men and women. I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that sound again. Sigurd's <laughs> 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 uh, daughter is a LARP um, inspired by the book uh, Daughter, no, Egalia's Daughters. Uh, it's about 11 families uh, that are living in a matriarch version of Sweden today. And they're they're about to have a vacation, where they're gonna present their sons as dateable. They're old enough now to be dated. And it is a story about these families, uh, their vacation, and in the hope that their friends' daughters is gonna want to marry their sons, or at least find them attractive. And it's a story about gender norms, uh, gender oppression. In, in, it's in a world that's a lot like ours, but completely different. Mm -hmm. And I would call this a political LARP. Uh, it's my way of using LARP as a way to be an activist, to get um, something out that I want to say, and together with other people trying to understand the world we're living in. And <laughs> and I think the coolest part about it, all of this is people actually want to do that with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> and the book is uh, written in 1977, uh, Galas Daughters, uh, by Jörg Brandenberg. And it's written as satire of the patriarchy, like in 1977. And I still think it's relevant to make a LARP out of it. In this book, uh, women are like the corporate leaders and men are the housewives who curl their beards every morning and if a man gets raped, he's told that he should have been more careful. When I f read this book the first time, I was like 20 and I consider myself really uh, enlightened uh, about these questions. I thought I knew everything uh, and then I read it and I realized that the reason it was so painful to read this book, it was so humiliating for the characters, and I just wanted to put it down, is because it's about men. And I'm used to reading books about young girls just being ignored or having to go out and buy a bra with their mother, and it's embarrassing, but it's okay. But I haven't read about men being just melting into the wallpaper uh, and belittled all the time. And then I realized, I have a LARP here. <laughs> I should really do this. Good. Yeah, I had slides. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so how awkward she on me. That was funny. Yes, because I still feel like we can totally buy a fantasy setting. No shame on fantasy, I love fantasy. Um, but a setting without the patriarchy. We, s we can't really buy that. We can't really make that happen, I feel like, a lot of times. Um, so, and I think that one of the problems is that we can't really understand each other because we don't know how it is to walk in someone else's shoes in this society that we're living in. And what I'm trying to do is allow people to try that different position in society, uh, try a different position of power and see if we can 
understand why, <laughs> why this is bugging us. Because mm, I feel like there's one thing in knowing that we live in a society that's not equal and that treats us differently uh, based on our gender. But it, it is another thing, feeling it. And if we can feel it by taking on a role living in another society, then maybe we can find new ways to talk about it. Uh, and, uh, and I think LARP is a great tool for this, because then we don't just theorize about it. We do it, we feel it. We cry over the people we pretended to be, and in the same time, maybe we can understand that, okay, so if it is the girls in our group that always uh, takes the dirty dishes, maybe we should talk about that. Maybe that's not good, because that sucked, doing that for four whole days. Um, we as organizers has talked about a lot about how the players are going to react to this fiction, because we don't want it to be like in uh, Egalia's Daughters, where it's all just flipped. She, men are wearing like a dress-like clothing, and the beauty norm for men is that it should be short and fat. Um, and for me, this kind of says that if men were the feminine one, then it would be the woman who was uh, the leaders of the world. And uh, that's fine for this book. It fits perfectly. It fucks with your head totally. Read it. Uh, but when I'm making a LARP in 2016, I want to say that it's because of power, not because women do this and men do that, which they are brought up to do. So I try to uh, just change what gives powers, not the norms that I think I see in this society and uh, that I think others can relate to. So men are still wearing jeans, women are still wearing skirts in this fiction, but uh, to wear a skirt, that is power. Men wear jeans with a lot of... F um. Now I'm going off script. The you can put things here, and, and men can do that in their trousers, because they couldn't uh, keep track of a purse in this fiction. And, and this is a LARP about doing dishes. It really is. Or if you play a woman, it's a LARP about not bother to do the dishes. Uh, it's about women getting to take the role as the one in power, as the predator but also as the one responsible for the well-being of the men she's caring for, because she has the power to take care of them and protect them. And for men, it's about being subject for sex to be sexualized, uh, to feel a bit unsafe all the time, and to always be aware of their bodies. After the first run, the, the things that, that men brought up, like, I'm going to miss this when we go home, was feeling sexy, feeling wanted, but also being able to talk to other men, like, gently, just sitting alone and touching someone's arm, like, being physical with each other. Because the upholding of the masculinity wasn't there, so all of a the sudden, they could touch each other. And what women said that they would miss was being able to go down... I have slides. <laughs> <laughs> being able to go down to breakfast uh, and wear whatever, and no one will judge you, and no one will stare at your boobs. So I think that we should learn from Jared because she wrote the book in 77, and uh, I still feel like that's uh, uh, something we haven't been able to learn, even though she spelled it out for us then. 
Uh, and I think that being by playing LARPs like this, or in some ways trying to get a picture of how it is for other people in the same gender norms, uh, we can have conversations about it in a whole new w way. And I think that would help us all. Thank you.